The Missouri women's basketball team has hit a cold spot in the middle of their SEC season and they lost four consecutive games. Tonight will not be any easier for the Tigers as they face the 16th ranked Vanderbilt Commandeers. The ladies showed no sign of that cold streak in this game as the Tigers dominated Vanderbilt in the first period. As it was the Missouri Reserves who led the way in the first, the bench scored 20 of the 33 first half points for Missouri. Kayla McDowell led all first half scoring with seven as she scores two of them here to extend the Tigers' lead to 14. But the real key to the team's impressive first half was Missouri's defense. Vanderbilt was held without a field goal in the final six minutes and 40 seconds of the period, which shot just 23%. And that terrific D led to some offense for the Tigers. Here, Morgan Stock is a transition three that was part of a 20-7 run by Missouri to end the first half and give them a 13-point lead heading into the halftime locker rooms over the 16th-ranked team in the country. But Vanderbilt was not ready to give up that easy. After staying within striking distance for most of the second period, Marques Webb collects this air ball and hits a lift to cut the tire lead to just six with a little over five minutes remaining. Now with under a minute remaining, Kelly Smith gets the bucket and the foul, and that Missouri lead is just one point. And once senior leader Bree Coolis fouled out, it wasn't looking good at all for Missouri. But in the end, it was four clutch free throws from two underclass and Morgan Stock and Caleb McDowell would eventually see the 54 victory for the Tigers. After narrowly avoiding a heartbreaking defeat, the Tigers got arguably their biggest win of the season over Vanderbilt. It will not get any easier from here as they take on the seventh-ranked South Carolina Gamecocks next. From Missouri Arena, Nick Jordan, 23 Sports.